Hello, good evening. Hello, people. Is somebody there? Hay alguien por ahí? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Jorge. All right, that's good. And at least you're getting connected. No sé qué onda con sus compañeros, no contestan. Ya rato les estoy hablando. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Paulina. Tengo miedo a hablar inglés. Ah, probable. Probable. Más no saben qué, los voy a poner a hablar toda la clase. Right? Because tonight is What? just a practice. <laughs> yeah. It's just going to a be Paulina practice. A Paulina le gusta hablar mucho. Oh, uh, no. Really? No, she, she looks like she likes speaking. Le, parece que sí le. Así veo, ahí like, tiene ese como enthusiasm that she likes speaking a lot. So. Ya por rato, por rato. Por rato. Ajá, <laughs> uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, so good evening for the ones who are just getting connected. All right, welcome back to another video conference, guys. Oh, man, this is good. Básicamente estamos finalizando la primera semana, right, de este módulo, and that is more than excellent. Y vamos bastante bien. That's good. So, I just... Let me see. I hope... Everybody just get connected tonight, so we're going to have a very interesting uh, class. All right, so just give me one second. Oops. I'm just trying to open up the platform because I want to show you how you are going with that. ¿Qué tal con la plataforma? Me han estado haciendo las tareas. Recuerden que ahora tenemos que tener hasta la tarea número 5. Right? Related to that. By the way, Brenda, uh, ¿le resolvieron ahora? Me dijeron de que ahora le iban, yes, a, le iban a llamar o algo así. ¿De yes, 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 yes. Yes. Finally. Yes, yes. Ok, good. Sí, es que yo les dije. Sí, I am sí. working the platform. Ah, nice, nice. Es que yo les dije, ahora sí o sí, tenemos que tener todos en la plataforma. <laughs> yeah, man. Yes. You know, like, get a little pressure. <laughs> We get along. But, all right. So, I want to show you guys how you're going. Antes de comenzar la clase, les voy a mostrar cómo vamos. So, just give me one second. I'm gonna... As the structure part over here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I need to check how you are going. Let me see. All right, so we got, oh, Jesus. Brenda. Barbara Brenda. You got the five homework. Okay, good. Ya tiene el 100% de la nueva 5. Excellent. Right, le ganó. Hey, ¿qué pasó? Pensé que ya habían terminado, pero no me puse a trabajar toda la tarde. Vamos a ver, es que es que estoy viendo de que no me han estado trabajando en la plataforma. Vamos a ver, Selina apenas me ha hecho dos tareas. All right, Christian, that's okay. So, Christian, I had 100%, al igual que Dennis. That's good. Diana, no me ha hecho nada. Diego, no me ha hecho nada. Uh, let me see. Edwin. 
what happened with these people? ¿Qué pasó con estas personas que no han trabajado nada? Vamos a ver, ¿is Elvin here? A uh, Parrilla, what about you? ¿Le, ¿Le lograron resolver también a usted? Sí, hoy en la mañana, teacher, ya estuvo. Ah, perfect, perfect. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. okay. Great, let me see. Vamos a ver, los dos Edwin, nah, solo Evelyn del Carmen, that's good. Mm -hmm. Griselda, ok, solo le falta una tarea. Ok, Jorge Stone, right. Karen, bueno, supongo que ahora se van a poner al día, ¿verdad? Because we need this homework as soon as possible, guys, ok. So Karen has some work. Carla got a hundred percent. Right, Luis got a hundred percent. Same as Norma. Okay, that's good. We're gonna go into the last people in here. Paulina. Bueno, solo le falta una tarea. That's good. Al igual que Ronald. Sonia. Teacher, pero la que falta, verdad, que es la de la clase de ahora. Correcto. Correcto. Okay. Good. Sonia got 60. Ok, Walter. Walter, no me he trabajado ninguna, Walter. Esperaría que ahora se ponga el día con las cinco tareas. Sí, teacher, cuando termine la clase. Perfect, thank you. Right, Wendy. Ok, got a hundred, uh, 80%. Solo me faltaría una. And Janina got a hundred percent. Nice. Perfect. Ok, that's good. That's cool. Let me say what it says here. Ok, Edwin. Thank you for letting me know that. Ok, so básicamente entonces ese sería el progreso. Hay algunos que, digamos que, supongo que les gusta trabajar así el tiempo récord, las cinco de un solo. Esperaría que ahora terminen con eso. Y para las que ya lo hicieron, all right, good. Thank you guys for just getting updated on that, ok? So basically tonight what we are going to do is just to have a general feedback and a practice activities related to the, you know, like uh, the structures that we have been discussing throughout the four previous classes. So this is like basically what we are just going to be doing uh, tonight, okay? It's just a general feedback related to the main topics that we have been discussing throughout this past four days okay so this is just pretty much what we have for the rest of the class but before starting with that but antes de comenzar con un general uh, you know like uh activities que tenemos en el manual que básicamente es uh tomando como repaso todo lo que hemos estado viendo right so we are just going to review the main topics that we have had Vamos a tener un pequeño repaso antes de las actividades. So just that way you have an idea, right? If you just have forgotten uh, any of the structures that we have discussed. All right, just, just with that. But oh, give me one second. Creo que ya están todos. Primero voy a pasar asistencia. Sí, esta es la mayoría. I'm going to go and pass the attendance list. And then I'm going to start with that. Uh, Selena Janet. No, okay, great. Uh, Christian Eduardo. Yeah. Okay, Christian. Me escucho, teacher. Yeah, Selena. Okay. Okay, great. So, Christian, okay, Christian is here. Dennis Gerardo. Present. Okay, nice. Diana Carolina. What happened with Diana? Okay, so she's not getting connected. Diego Jose. Present. Okay, nice. Edwin Ernesto. Okay, he's on the way home. Va de camino a casa. Edwin Leonel. Present, teacher. Uh, okay, good. Uh, Evelyn del Carmen. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Griselda Jamilet. 
here. All right, great. Jorge Antonio. Present. Okay, nice. Karen Lisset. Present. Okay, nice. Carla Patricia. Present. Okay, great. Um, Luis Humberto. Present. Okay. Uh, let me see. Norma Jamilet. Present. Okay, great. Paulina Olimpia. Present. All right, nice. Ronald Ulises. Present. Okay, great. Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Okay, excellent. Walter Enrique. Present. Okay, nice. Wendy Beatriz. Present. Okay, nice. Janira Isabel. Present. Okay, great. And the last one, Brenda Elizabeth. Present. Okay, very good. So as I said, we are just going to start with a general review from the main topics that we have been discussing, right? We're going to review a little bit the structures that we have been practicing before starting with a series of uh, activities that we have in the manual, all right? So basically this is tonight's topic, vocabulary and practice, right? So as I said, it's just general practice related to the four main topics that we have been discussing throughout this past, classes, right? So what's like the most relevant that we got for tonight's agenda? Uh, on here, we got the uses of countable nouns and uncountable nouns. We're going to review them, right? Just, just for a little bit. Then we are going to review a little bit about the uses of have to and has to for obligations. If you remember, we were discussing that in the second class. Then we are just going to have a short review about the uses of can for information and possibility, as well as the uses of be going to, which was the structure that we were discussing, right? The previous class, in other words, yesterday, right? So this is pretty much what we have for tonight's class. All right, but let's start a little bit about countable and uncountable noun uses. Okay, let's remember that when we talk about countable nouns are the nouns that we generally count, right? For example, so take a look at this one. Evelyn, can you please help me out reading this vocabulary list? Cars, mm -hmm. bottles of water, okay. cell phone, cup of coffee, Mm -hmm. Books, notebooks, jobs. Uh -huh. And jobs, all right? Basically, thank you, Evelyn. So basically, all of these nouns can be countable, right? So todo este conjunto de nombres, we can count them. Podemos contarlos, right? Good. So in here, remember, on the other hand, we got uncountable nouns, right? So basically, what is that? Nouns that we can not count, right? So in this case, we've got a couple of examples in here that Jorge will help me at read. Help me at reading, Jorge. Water, olives, sugar, sand, milk, experience, okay. food. Food. All right. So basically, all of these nouns, right, we cannot count them. We cannot count the water itself. We cannot count oil. So as well as sugar, sand, milk, experience, right? So we cannot have, we cannot say, I mean, I got an experience. Now, in this case, the word experience in general is uncountable, right? As well as the word food. All right, this is just, just for us, right, to have an idea. Now, if you remember, we were practicing two different structures when we were discussing uh, this topic, right? And which was 
that structures. All right. The structures were this ones. Remember, how many? It was mostly for countable nouns, right? And we started questions like this. Take a look at them. Ronald, help me reading this question, please. How many boats do you have? Okay, so you see, basically in there, we are asking about the quantity of something, right? In this case, the quantity of books. Okay, so you see, a short answer, we got it like this. I have two books, right? So basically in there, we're just giving a short answer to that question. Now, the next question, uh, Isabel, can you please help me read in this one? How many students practice English? All right, so you see, how many students practice English? In this case, we're talking about the quantity of students, right? So in this case, we can say 21 students practice English, right? All right, and take a look at the next one I hear. Brenda, help me read it, please. Brenda, are you there? Humani cell phone does she buy? Okay, there you go. Thank you. It says, how many cell phones does she buy? Right? And in here, we just got a short answer, right? I um, mean, she buys one cell phone, right? Oh. So remember, when you use how many, you mostly use a quantity word, especially with numbers, of course, when you are providing the answer, right, to those questions. So let's remember, with how many, we use countable nouns, and the nouns that you are going to set on those questions have to be plurals, right? They have to be plurals. Okay, great. That one related to the uses of how many. Okay, now let's take a look at the uses of uncountable nouns using how much. Remember, how much can be used with countable nouns in, listen up, in a somehow, in singular, but when it comes to a general way, and also with nouns that are just mostly on singular but we cannot count all right so take a look at this first uh question example christian help me on reading please how much water do you drink okay there you go how much water do you drink so take a look at the answer in here it changes a little bit here in here you don't use a quantity expression, right? So, Paulina, read the answer. I drink a lot of water. Okay, very good. So you can say, I drink a lot of water, right? I drink some water, I drink a little water, or if you want to use a, a unit of measurement, so you can say, I drink a glass of water, right? So in there, it can be countable because you're counting the glass of water that you can drink. Now, take a look at the second question example here. Maria, help me reading, please. How much, <clears throat> how much experience do you have? <laughs> okay, there you go. How much experience do you have? Okay. Great. So take a look at the answer here. Sonia, let's read it, please. I had little experience. Okay, I have little experience. So in this case, it's like, ah, I mean, tengo poca experiencia, right? So in there, we cannot quantify that one, right? So that's why we use a quantifier expressing something that we cannot, we cannot count. 
Okay, so take a look at the last example question that we got here. Uh, Leonel, help me a reading, please. How much money does she have? Okay, let's take a look at that one. How much money does she have? So in this case, yeah, in this case, you, listen up, you can give a countable answer or an uncountable answer, depending if you want to make the answer general, all right? If you want to make it countable, so you can say like this. Walter, let's read it, please. She has $10. Okay, so you see, she has $10. So in this case, this is a countable answer, right? In here, you can use it like that. Lo pueden usar de ese modo, right? O lo podemos hacer de la siguiente manera. Uh, she has a lot of money, right? So you can put it this way also, right? But this one is just like a general answer, right? And in here, you got it more a specific answer, a more a specific answer. So you can you can use both ways, right? We can use ambas formas, a countable answer or an uncountable answer when it comes to the word money. All right. So basically, remember, this is just a short uh, mm -hmm. feedback about what we have been doing the past classes, right? Good. Now, I don't know if you guys have any question with this. No sé si tenemos alguna pregunta hasta acá. Is everything okay? Oh. Yeah. I guess everything is okay. I mean, I, I, it makes me it makes me feel funny like when it comes to questions like that. It's like if I ask like everything is okay, hay algunos preguntan ahora así como a mí no me preguntó. Ah, me va a funny. Okay. Good, so let's move on into the next slide then. Okay, now let's jump on to the questions, right? And expressions, positive examples and negative examples that we have related to the second topic. And if you remember guys, the second class, the topic was the uses of have to or has to to show obligations, right? So that was the topic that we were discussing in the second class. And as it says, right, mostly have to or has to, it's used to show obligations, right? Those kinds of obligations that we in a somehow cannot avoid. All right. So, for example, so we got that yeah. expression right here, right? So take a look at this one. I have to do the homework. In your case, guys, this is an obligation, right? Acá en el caso de ustedes, esta expresión ya suena más a obligación este día. I have to do the homework. Para los que no lo han hecho todavía, right? All right, so, you see, in a somehow, it's something that you guys have to accomplish in a somehow, okay? So, let's take a look at the second example sentence. Carla, help me a reading, please. You have to work eight hours. Okay, very good. It says you have to work eight hours, right? There are people who work more. There are people who work less hours, right? But this is just like an obligation. It sounds like an obligation, right? That we got to accomplish. All right. Let's take a look at the third example. Uh, let me see who hasn't participated. Dennis, help me read. She has to send the package. Okay, very good. So in this case, this is this is sounds like like an obligation also, right? She has to send the packages. So basically, probably this person works in a delivery company, right? And they got to send the packages. So basically here, it shows obligation also. Right, take a look at the next one. Griselda, help me a reading, please. Uh, 
He has to write a report. Okay, great. So if you take a look in this ones, this last examples are basically made up on a simple present subject, right? So that's the reason why we changed from has have to to has to, right? Remember, they mean the same. The only difference is the change that the verb suffers when it comes to singular expressions, right? So that's like the only difference that we got in here, right? But it's basically the same thing, okay? All right. Now, let's take a look at the last one over here. Uh, and for this one, Norma, please help me out reading. They have to go to the supermarket. Okay, there you go. They have to go to the supermarket, right? It's like, ah, I mean, ellos tienen que ir al supermercado. So you see, basically, this is like showing an obligation. So basically, this is the structure, right? About how to show obligations, all right? Using have to and has to in positive statements, all right? So let's remember that it comes with negative statements. You are not showing obligation. ¿Qué estamos denotando cuando lo hacemos, cuando hacemos esa estructura negativa? We are indicating a choice, not obligation. Aquí estamos denotando más una opción, right? O hablando más de una opción y no una obligación. When it comes to negative statements, let's remember that, right? And generally we use the auxiliary verb, don't, in this case, or doesn't, when it comes to singular subjects. For example, Take a look at this one, Paulina. Let's read it, please. I don't have to do the dishes. Okay, there you go. So you see, basically in here, we are not showing an obligation, right? So what are we showing in here? We're showing mostly a choice. It's más una opción que una obligación. End of case, right? All right. So Isabel, let's read the second one. You don't have to wear a uniform. Okay, there you go. So you see, you don't have to wear a uniform. So probably your work, right? You don't have the obligation to wear a uniform. So you can uh, mention something like that. It's mostly a choice in this case, right? Good. So let's continue with the third example. Brenda, let's read it, please. She doesn't have to play the guitar. Okay, very good. So if you take a look at this one, so now we change the option from don't to doesn't, right? So now we got doesn't. Why do we have doesn't? Because in here we're using a third example subject, right? So basically that's the reason why the change of the auxiliary verb. All right, so. Let's move with the next one. Evelyn, help me a reading, please. He doesn't have to study math. Mm, okay, great. Thank you. Right, so she doesn't have to study math. So you see, we got also a choice over there. And we got the last one in here, uh, Jorge. Let's read it, please. They don't have to drive a car. All right, here you go. Okay, so take a look at that one. They don't have to drive a car. It's like, I mean, él no tiene que conducir un carro. All right, so basically remember, when it comes to negative expressions, using have to or has to, remember, it's mostly a choice, not an obligation, right? Okay, that was related to the structure, right, on negative statements. Now, in questions, right, so here is just a little bit different. And we got structures 
like this. When it comes to WH questions or information questions, you start obviously with one of those ones, right? So, Wendy, let's read the first question example, please. What time do you have to go to work? Okay, thank you. All right, so we got an answer like this. Diana, give me a reading, please. Uh, are you there, Diana? So, what happened to you? Then, I'm going to Diana. Okay, there you go. Uh, Walter, let's read it, please. I have to go to work at 7 a.m. Okay, great. So you see, you got an answer like that, right? Like, I have to go to work at 7 a.m. No, okay, great. Um, do you listen to me like like clearly, guys? Yes. 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 Okay. Me avisa si se está si están escuchando que ahora que casi no me escuchan porque acá ya comenzó a llover bastante fuerte, entonces tengo que hablar más fuerte. Sí. Ya sí. Yo que creí que cangoso estaba, Tich. <risa> no, todavía no ando enfermo, no me ha llegado la, la, la peste todavía. <risa> okay. No, es que está no. súper fuerte acá, entonces a veces como que tengo que hablar un poco más fuerte por el, la lámina que no me ayuda mucho, ¿verdad? Cuando llueve, así que. <risa> por eso dice Denia allá. All right, so los que tienen sin calor me van a comprender así que let's continue. Yo okay. creí que de plato estaba hablando así. ¿Ah? De plantoso creía yo que estaba hablando así. <risa> no, que va, por Dios. No, no, no. Así que cuando escuche que le estoy gritando, Brenda, no vaya a decir que la estoy regañando. Ok, es para que me escuchen. No problem, teacher. Okay, there you go. All right, so let's continue with this one. Christian, help me reading the next question example, please. Okay. Where does she have to send the package? Okay, the package. Except why does she have to send the package? All right, so here we're asking about a place, right? So, and in the answer is stated in here. So, uh, Dennis, let's help me a reading, please. She has to send the package to San Miguel. All right, there you go. So basically there, right, we got a place, a location, right? Because that's what is asked in the question. Okay, very good. So let's remember, this is just for you to refresh this topic that we previously practiced in the in the classes right so let's move now let's jump on to the next uh topic that we were discussing the third class right and it was 10. can somebody remember what do we use can for alguien me puede decir para que usamos can según la clase que vimos el día tres Okay. It is most about sometimes. Okay. Possibilities and 
information, information. right? Okay, good. In what situations can we use can as a possibility? ¿Qué tipo de estructura usamos cuando uh, hablamos de posibilidad en una pregunta usando can? Can my subject my, my verb my complement. Ah, ok, thank you, Carla. So, ¿cómo le llamamos a esas preguntas? That kind of question, guys, is called just no questions, right? That's the name of those kind of structures, just no questions, right? And that's basically, right, uh, the structure, the one that Carla was reading. Right, so we can start with examples like this. Take a look at this one. Uh, let me see. Sonia, can you please read the question that I have there? Can I play the piano? Okay, there you go. It's like, can I play the piano? Right. So in here, remember, acá he puesto una respuesta un tanto larga, pero recuerden que la única respuesta que podemos utilizar en ese caso sería no, you can't, right? And that's it. And that can be like a short and good answer. In there, you get extra information just, just for us to practice, right? And it says, no, you can't, you can't play the piano. Right, that's additional information. So let's take a look at the second uh, question. Uh, let's say, uh, let me see. Selena, help me reading, please. Uh, are you there, Selena? Hola. Can you please read the second uh, question? Can you play soccer? Okay, there you go. Bárbaro, Denis, escuchando borroso, dice. Okay, there you go. All right. Métalo so... agarró. Que le lave los oídos. Los bueno, ojos. menos mal y dijo borroso y no charchoso. <laughs> Okay, let's continue. Uh, let me see. Evelyn, let's read the answer. Yes, I can. I can play soccer. Okay, great. So basically, in there we have two models of answers, right? When it comes to a positive answer and a negative answer. Right. Okay, let's continue with that. Uh, Brenda, let's read this question. Where can she store the products? Okay, thank you. All right, so we got this short answer. Uh, let me see. Leonel, help me read it, please. And she can store the products in the warehouse. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Lionel. All right, so basically in there, remember, in here, it's just an information question, right? In here, it's not a, a question about possibility. Here is just an information question, okay, information using a WH word. So basically, this was the structure that we were practicing throughout the class number three. Now, and this is the topic that we were discussing last class, right? I think this one is like pretty easy to you because, right, uh, if you remember, we were discussing that we go into, it's mostly an structure to talk about what? To talk about, future actions, 
right? So basically, that's like the main use that we got about this scripture, just to talk about future actions. And we got a couple of examples in here, how we can use them. Uh, let me see, Griselda, help me on reading the first example, please. I am going to go to the meeting next week. Okay, there you go, thank you. So basically in there, right, we're talking about a future action that we have planned to do in how much time? Uh, in a week, right? In a future week. So we got a second example in here. So Diego, help me out reading, please. You are going to send the, the resume. The, the resume? resume tonight. Okay, very good. Can somebody tell me what the word resume is? ¿Saben qué significa esa palabra? All right. The word resume significa curriculum. Resume? Right? That's the word resume definition. Means curriculum. Resume. Right, toda so la, we got. Toda la frase. Uh, yeah, Brenda. Toda la frase, resume, Tony, ¿qué? Tonight. No, solo la palabra resume significa curriculum. Tonight significa esta noche. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, okay, good. So let's continue. So we got the next one, but in this case, if you take a look at the next example, it's in a negative uh phone, right? ¿Qué necesitamos para hacer una oración en negativa en este caso? Pero todavía no está cayendo. Sí. Aquí sí ya está cayendo. Okay, so, ¿qué necesitamos entonces? Let's remember, solamente colocar la palabra not justo después del verbo to be, right? That's all we need to create a negative statement. Right, so take a look at the example that we got there. Uh, Sonia, tell me of reading the example, please. He is not going to work next month. Okay, there you go. He's not going to work next month. That's what it says there, right? Good. So, any here we're talking, remember, about an action that is not going to happen in the future, right? Good, so let's move on this one. Parrilla, tell me a reading, please. La última que está, Tisha. Yep. She's not going to send a text message. 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 Okay, there you go. She says, she's not going to send a text message, right? All right, so basically remember, in here is when we're talking about an action that is not going to happen in the future, right? Okay, great. Now, let's take a look at about, uh, about this, but using information question, right? So, basicamente, esta era la última parte que estábamos viendo ayer. Right, related to this structure. How to create information questions using the structure. Okay, yeah, now let's read the examples that we got there. Paulina, tell me a reading, please. What time are you going to listen to the WhatsApp audio? Okay, very good. Right, so take a look at the answer that we got there. Uh Jorge. Yo pensé que Jorge ya estaba frisado y es que... I'm going to listen to... Según yo estaba I frisado y es que... I am going to video. listen to... Adiós at 3 p.m. Ok, there you go, at 3 p.m. I am going to listen to the WhatsApp audio at 3 p.m., right? Good. So in there we are asking about a specific time, remember, right? 
Ahí estamos preguntando sobre una hora específica en la que una acción va a suceder. Right? Ok, let's move on into the next uh, question. Carla, help me read it, please. When is he going to buy a new truck? Okay, in this case, the, the, the verb is buy. Buy a new truck. Okay. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Karma. All right. It's a Magua. Okay, let's continue. Oh my god. All right, let's continue. When is Carlita? When is he going to buy a new truck? It says. Ay, la ventaja de ser compañeros de trabajo y compañeros de clase. Ok, let's move. Ronald, help me reading the answer, please. He's going to buy a new truck next month. Ok, here we go. That's what it says, right? That's like the reason why we're using an expression like this, because we're showing something that is going to happen in the future, right? Good. Now, I don't know, guys, if you have any questions related to these structures. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta con relación a estas estructuras. Something in general that you probably got issues with. Todo está súper claro como el fondo de esas pantallas apagadas. Yes. I got it. <laughs> okay, good. Good, good, good. Now. Está claro como el negro corazón que tú tienes. Uy. Y esa, y esa pedrada para quién era. Uy, le tiró fuerte. Uy, y eso. <laughs> Todo está claro como ese negro corazón. Ay, señor. Ay, ¿y, y la, la pedra era para mí o fue? Pues se le quedó el saco. Porque si era para mí, le vamos a dejar el módulo. Y es. Y le quedó el saco. Brenda. Que lo ponga. Y, y ese, y ese, po qué poquita agua tiene ahí, Brenda. ¿Qué qué? Bien poquita agua tiene ahí. Pues si son dos horas que tengo que estar aquí sentada, ¿sí? es una cosa de los riñones. <risa> no, hombre, ni que estuviera viviendo en San Miguel. Usted. Acá sí, miren. ¿Qué está haciendo calor aquí? ¿En serio? Está calentísimo. Be mal, Brenda. What? <risa> ok, Ronald. <risa> Interesting. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, let me see. I want you guys you to go to page <coughs> 17, right? That's going to be the page that we're going to start working uh, on tonight. Page 17, right? On your manuals. Okay. In that case, no sé por qué siempre se está aquí en el tipo de arriba. We are, uh, we are going to skip the first uh, activity. Creo que vamos a obviar la primera actividad porque honestamente no se ve bien esa, esa, esa parte. O oh, at least I can see the words. Por lo menos yo no puedo ver bien las letras. So we're going to skip this activity. No se obviar esta actividad related to this. But I want to focus on here. Pero nos vamos a ir a trabajar primero en esta actividad. All right? From here and on. It says in here, vocabulary practice. Write down three features and three products. Ask a partner to describe them. It says in here. What are we going to do? Listen. We're going to work in, in pairs. Vamos a ir a trabajar como lo estuvimos haciendo ayer. What are we going to do here? And here we got features and products. 
acá vamos a escribir las características, listen up, las características de ciertos productos. Ustedes van a escoger los productos. It can be any device, it can be cell phones, it can be TV, it can be tablets, it can be anything, all right, that you want, unless you got to describe, right, that's one. Acá me escriben el nombre de, del producto o del dispositivo y acá me escriben las features. ¿A qué nos referimos con las features? Hablamos de las características, right? We're talking in there about the characteristics of the products, right? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Pueden tomar ejemplo sobre la actividad que estuvimos haciendo hace oh, dos clases, que es esta. En la parte ahí, all right, podemos tener, listen up, weight, dimension, and quantity. Weight, remember, belongs to peso, dimension, dimensiones, ahí lo pueden, uh, you know, like make it up. And quantity, the, the cantidad, right? Here, you can mention the products, like tablets, televisions, as I said, refrigerators. Ustedes pueden colocar, no sé, cell phones, right? Or, or any other device that you might uh, remember, okay? So that's what we are going to fill up on this chart. Esa va a ser la primera actividad que vamos a hacer. Luego vamos a describir esos productos que ustedes han puesto ahí. Y les voy a mandar a trabajar en parejas así que tienen más ideas, right? How to share ideas among us. So I'm going to stop sharing in here, pero me gustaría saber quiénes van a participar porque hay algunos que están con la palabra oyente. In your case, Karen, uh, are you going to participate? ¿Puede participar? ¿Usted puede participar, Carla? Yes, teacher. Ok, great. Uh, bueno, Karen no me contesta, no sé, creo que no puede. Uh, Diana, what about you? Bueno, ya no nos contestó, Diana. Bueno, ok. Thank you, Karen, for letting me know. Gracias por avisarme. Let's see, two, twenty-one. Give me one second. Teacher. Yes. Es mi señal o es usted que está hablando un poquito más bajito. No, no sé. sé si solo a mí me mandas. Me están escuchando. Uh, claro. Por rato se vaya bien suave. Okay, sí, solo cuando se acerca el micrófono se le escucha bien, cuando no se le escucha más suave. Ah, ok, ok. All right. Entonces, Téngalo cerca siempre. Tienes que tenerlo así, así vamos, entonces. Vamos a tenerlos a... así entonces, porque sí, la lluvia nos está afectando. Acá. Ok, great, pero ya no vamos a ir a trabajar en grupos, así que... Ah, les voy a descansar las manos. Tío. Así voy, voy a descansar de tenerlas, sí, exacto. <laughs> let's accept the, uh, the, the request, guys, and let's go to work on that.
uh, Anthony Zelda, Diego. Do you have problems to get connected? Hi, teacher. Terminó, Brenda. No. <ríe> La veo bien concentrada. Pues yo les pregunté y no me contestaron. Imagínate Ahí respondió en, en el chat. En el chat respondió Denis. Que se ponga serio, Denis. Que va a hablar, no va a estar de mudo. Verdad que sí. Ok. Yo les pregunté que acerca de qué vamos a hacer la descripción. ¿O lo vamos a hacer individual? No, en los tres. No lo veo. Sí, Teacher, welcome. Uh, ¿Me escucha, hello. teacher? Yes. Sí. Mire, con Carlita, ten, con, con Wendy, perdón, tenemos la duda de que se, como siguiendo esta tabla uh -huh. de información lo vamos a hacer. Es decir, Correcto. que en el piso, eh, como en las dimensiones uh -huh. o, uh -huh. o en el funcionamiento que tiene el producto. No, básicamente siguiendo esa tabla. Como... Sí, no. ah. Ajá, porque uh -huh. yo pensaba que era como escrito las características del producto. No, Escritas en... pensaba yo, pero en la tabla ah. están como los números del peso y todo eso. Exacto, so, uh -huh. aquí igual los pueden just make up, pero en este caso sí, es más que todo la característica en cuanto a esto, en cuanto a peso, dimensión y cantidad. Ok, okay. Uh -huh. ya viste que tenía razón Wendy. <risa> Ella iba a poner duración de tanto y tanto. Con la capacidad para, para con la capacidad para sí, con mil amperios le dura 24 horas y no lo usa la carga. Sí, no le dura la carga. Con una carga de 24 horas. Ah, vale. No, but it, it, it comes to, with, the, with the dimensions and, and features like this. Así que en base a esto, así para que sea un poco más fácil todavía. Ok, thank you, teacher. Okay. Dale buen día a trabajar ya con todo. Claro, vea. A ver si. Entonces vamos a empezar con la tabla. Podemos poner una tabla, pero va a ser diferente a la que dice. <risa> Baje más grande. Ahora, ¿de qué modelo es? Va a ser más grande. Ok. 
Ah, señor. Y esa foto. <risa> También los, sí, Tichel. Me las avisen. Lo siento. Era la, la puse en el momento, estaba posando para la cámara, Tichel, usted. <risa> Así veo. Ok. <risa> Entonces, bueno. Bueno, y Cristian, ¿por qué no habla? Cristian está ahí. Sí, aquí estoy haciendo una también yo. Ah, pero nada, bien calladito, no dice hello, ya vi. Como no, y Denny no dice hello, aquí estoy. <risa> no, lo estaba escuchando. Y estaba también enfocado en lo que estaba haciendo. Oh. El primero sería el microondas. Uh -huh. Wait. Güey, es como el peso. Sí. <risa> microondas. En sí, el aparato, así en físico, este, vamos a poner la cantidad esa. Lo que pesa. Sí, considero que sí. Yes. El microondas anda pesando como... Como unos 30, 34 libras, por decirlo así. Bien, bien. 30. Unas 33. O puedes agarrar, este, ¿cómo se llama? Una laptop. Mm, sí, laptop. Laptop. Top, top. Ok, bueno. Vaya, number one sería Diego. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, wait, sería peso, no es que ya. Juan, Juan, sí. Hey, no punto seis kilos le voy a poner. Dimensión Ya están haciendo el suyo Yo ahorita estoy yes. Armando el mío Vaya Ya terminé yo de hacerlo. Ya terminé yo también. Güey. Yo también ya terminé. Si gusta, no compartimos en el chat para que así lo copiemos todos. Güey. 
aunque está fácil escribirlo, solo se puede dictar también. Vaya, está bien, entonces, decime el tuyo. Vaya, entonces, de tal eh, tuyo. Um, de madera. De madera. Ajá. Más bonita. <ríe> Una silla de madera. Dice 120 kilos. 120 kilos son... Vamos a convertir a 120 kilos a libra. Ah, uh -huh. ¿El kilo es una libra? ¿Una, si, una silla? Ajá. De madera, pesan. Pero 120 <ríe> kilos. Mucho. Haga la conversión. Tendríamos que ver la... Haga la conversión. Tendríamos que ver la silla, teacher. <ríe> Haga la conversión. A ver cuántas libras le dan. 264 libras. Pero vamos a ver qué, qué día está acá. 264 libras entre, entre. Ah, no, ¿cómo toca? 264. Sí, pues vale la 120 kilos, dije. Moverla, va a poder. Ah, no, 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 no. Es para soportar 120 kilos. <risa> Ay, señor. Va, pues, Pablo. Bárbara, Pablo. Ay, no, no. ¿Y cuánto vale que pesa? El que no me ha salido todavía, pero me Oh, my God. Ya me imagino usted de Belín, este, yendo de visita donde Pablo le diga: No, tome esa silla y muévala para acá. Y usted queriendo la mover. Y... No voy a poder. Eso sí, eso sí, antirrobo. No. Antirrobo. Como que fuera de ese. Exactly, exactly. Oh, my God. Espera, a ver, que todavía estoy viendo de cuánto ven. Ajá. I'm gonna share. No. You can use it like, 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 what? Puede ser que 15 pounds, 15 libras cuando mucho. Uh -huh. Sí, creo que sí. That's acceptable, es aceptable ya esa, esa, ese peso. De la jaragana. Exacto. <ríe> Pero ya, ya 200, pero ya 200 es poquito exagerado. Un <risa> poquito exagerado. <risa> ah, no. Ajá, 3 kilogramos vale 6. Punto... No, pero está mucho. 6.614 libras, dice. Ah, pues 6 libras. 6 libras. 6 libras. Ajá. Okay. Vaya. La dimensión a Polina no le pasa. No me pasa todavía. No había leído bien, qué barbaridad. Ay, señor. Qué calor. Ya casi no frío. Sí, como que va a llover, pero no, y dije, mira que hay tormenta. Acá sí ya está lloviendo. Dice, de verdad, cuidado con las láminas, te no, acá, acá me venía a caer. Peligroso, peligroso. Ay. Ay. Si se me despega una, no voy a estar, Paulina, cuidado con la, con la cabeza. Ya, está bien arropada cuando viene la tormenta, porque no me lleva. Dice que, que la dimensión es de 71 a 76 centímetros. 
La tercera sería la tercera sería entonces este los clocks, los relojes. Hi everybody, para los que están en los breakout rooms, eh, vamos a dar nada más cuatro minutos más para los que no han terminado, luego vamos a volver a la sección principal, ok, exactamente a las 8.15, regresamos. DJ. Kilogram. 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 Y lo jugamos. 120 sería. 20, sería 120. 120. 120. Ok. 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 Sí, sí. Preguntale. Preguntale, yo ya le pregunté una vez. Teacher, sí, tenemos una duda sobre dónde está la, la cantidad, porque nosotros solo hemos puesto un producto y no sé si podemos poner la cantidad solo de, de un producto o, o vamos a poner varios productos, porque si ponemos varios productos tendríamos que cambiar el peso. Me imagino. Teacher. Teacher. Eh, 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 ¿Cómo se dice? Está en mute. Okay. Sorry. I was talking to myself. No, en este caso, recuerde que el peso es por artículo. O sea, el peso es individual. Right? No es el peso de todo el producto, sino que es Ajá. por item. So, en este caso... Eh, la cantidad la pueden poner en un número alto, pueden ser 10, 15, 20, lo que sea, pero ya la, la dimensión y el peso va por eh, artículo, right? Ah, uh -huh. ok. Exactly, por unidad. Bien dicho. Uh -huh. Ahora vamos a poner ahí unas... Unas 10. In, inhale. 10. Yeah. Inhale. Y al otro lado dice exhale o something like that. Hey, that's cool, man. Hey, qué chido. Cool. Uh, ya, ya va a hablar. Cool, ¿Qué dice? Que quiere ir, quiere ir, quiere ir, dice y no va, ¿crees? Anda y con él. Más que ya viene el agua, teacher. Ahí no deja de un baño. Para preguntarnos, oiga, porque voy a ir al baño. Dele, dele, pues. Ya viene. Ok. Bueno, pues. <risa> Ok. Se fue. Se fue. Se fue corriendo. Ya, ya rato estaba así, no se iba. Yo le dije. Lo seguí escuchando, teacher. Ah. <risa> Qué mala. No, no, no hablemos. A ver, me esa camisa que anda. Hay una. Se... Yo tengo una alumna que suele llevar unas camisas así bien, bien exóticas. Yo le digo, ¿dónde las consigue? Porque ahora yo una camisa y ella es una bien señora. Que decía así, mire. Ajá. Así, mire. Y yo como que, ay, qué peculiar. Así, enfrente, así. Y yo, qué divertida su camisa, le dije. Ay, no, qué pena. Ya no me pusiera esa camisa así. Ay, yo, porque, ay, qué no, pero hay personas que sí. Hay personas que sí no les da pena y si se las ponen. Sí. O, o a veces unas camisas que tienen unas frases en inglés y a veces dice una cosa bien fea, pero como la gente no sabe, se las pone. Ay, no. Pero yo, he visto, yo he visto frases en inglés que yo me quedo así como que, ¿de verdad será que sabe qué <risa> significa? <risa> hay algunas personas que no saben, yo por eso siempre, aunque sea en Google, ahí ando traduciendo qué es lo es que bueno, dice. Exactly. <risa> para, es... para no andar pasando pena. <risa> Ay, sí, porque siempre hay gente que puede inglés y le leen ahí la frase. Exacto, exacto, es cierto eso. Bueno, 
Creo que ya nos pasamos el tiempo, así que let's go to the main section y vamos a, a comenzar a revisar lo que tienen, ¿ok? Ok. All right. So, all right, I guess everybody's just coming back. Um, Será que no han terminado los demás? Oh, what happened? Teacher, si me habla y ya no le escucho porque se vino con todo el agua para acá, oiga. Ok, ok. Él lo tomará en cuenta. ¿no? lloviendo pero está haciendo mucho mucho viento y me imagino que ya va a comenzar a llover ah ok ok igual ya acá ya pasó ya está llegando por esos terrenos entonces paulina cuidado con la lámina <ríe> ok good ya le va a caer por ahí <ríe> oh, vale. así como me dijo a mí aquí ya pasó el viento así que ya va a caer por ahí all right great so let's start over let's Let's continue in this case, right? I want to listen to uh, the products that you guys have and, you know, like the features that you uh, used. All right, who wants to be the first one? Who wants to be the first group? Who wants to say, like, uh, me, teacher, we're going to start first. Okay, Jorge, good. Let's start over. Y sus compañeros, que así como que... Y sus compañeros así como que, ah, Jorge, tenías que ser el primero. Hay que salir rápido. Exactly. So everybody is just going to participate. So, right. It's, it's eh, right. Edwin, Ernesto Gallego y Diego Moss. Ok, good. Let's go. Diego. Bueno, comienzo yo si quieren. Eh, Está bien. Eh, yo hice en base a una, un cable, cable teclado eh, de, de computadora. No, ok. Cable. Keyboard. Way, keyboard. Keyboard. Way, uh, 120 gramos. Grain, no sé cómo se llama. Grams. Green, uh -huh. grams. grams. Ok. Dimension. Dimension. Dimensions, ajá. Uh -huh. The dimension the dimension forty five point four centimeters and twelve uh, centimeter quantity okay. one. Good. The long forty forty five point four centimeter is long twelve centimeter. Ah, okay, very good. Mm. Okay, this cable. All right, and the units and quantity? One, one, quantity. Only one. Okay, all right, only one. Great, thank you. Who's next? Me, yeah. John. No, okay. Um, camera, weight, uh, 105. 15 grams, uh, dimension 9.2 centimet centimeters, <laughs> centimeters, um, 5.8 centimeters, um, 1.9 centimeters, quantity, quantity uh, only one. Ah, okay, okay, good, good. Who was the last one? Yep. Okay, go. A laptop. The right. way it is um four point eight kilograms mm -hmm. and the dimension um fifteen 
fifty point uh, seventy five inch times eleven inch times zero point seventy five inch and quarterly uh, twenty five. Twenty-five and quantity. No, and quantity twenty-five is okay. Very good. Thank you, Diego. All right, and uh, Jorge and uh, what's Edwin? Right, what's the other one? Okay, thank you to you three guys. Okay, now podrían escoger a la próxima a parejita, por favor. Cualquiera de los tres. De la yours. El grupo de Brenda. Brenda, okay. Sí, no, Jorge. Tan mal tu caso, Jorge. Para nada, así sin palabras me deja, Jorge. Para nada me sorprende. I love you, Brenda. I don't know. Yo estoy peleada con el amor, así es que no me ames, por favor. Como dice la camisa de Isabel, inhale, exhale. <laughs> Go, Brenda. You're going to be the first one. Ok. Parrilla, uno cada uno damos entonces. Parrilla. Sí, empiece usted, le digo. Ok. Por el primero que hicimos. Ok. Ok, teacher. Lo hicimos, um, my example is a window. Okay. Red is a fixed, fixed in for 100 libras. Dimension, 100 centimeters, centimeters, centimeters. 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 <laughs> centimeters, right? Centimeters. Hey, ponga en serio. Estoy hablando en serio. Cambie, cambie. Dimension 100 centímetros. Okay. <laughs> 90 um, centímetros. Okay. Quantity of oh, 10. Okay, 20. 10 windows. Okay, good. 10 windows. <laughs> Para que no ventile, teacher, porque no ventile estas calores. Tenga yeah, puertas, man. solo ventanas. Okay. Para que lo ventile con sentimientos. So that's good, Brenda. Yes. That's good, good, good. <laughs> Para Perfect. que se vayan todas esas malas vibras. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, thank you, Brenda. Now, Parrilla, let's play yours. Denny, bojo yo. I got Denny's also. You right. first. You first. Okay. Entonces, uh, the other example is cell phone. Mm -hmm. Way 120 grams, teacher. Grams. Grams. Mm -hmm. Dimension, uh, dimension, mm -hmm. eight, nine. Se me olvidó el número en Which number is that? Nineteen. Nineteen. Nineteen, <laughs> 19 centimeters for eight centimeters. Y quantity twenty one. Okay, all right. Okay, my example, my product example is clouds. Mm -hmm. Weight, 50 grams. Dimension, 25 centimeters. Okay. Four, five centimeters. Okay. And quantity, 21. Uno para cada uno. Yes. Okay. Exactly. All right. Good. Thank you to you three guys. You did it good. You did it good. Now, help me choose the next part, please. Let me go to the next Ronald. 
Yes. Ronald. All right, Ronald. El pie, pie. Let's try it on you, man. I held you. I love you, baby. I... No, que oh. no. I'm sorry. He said, I said, love you, you, the baby. Whatever. <laughs> Eh, Carla, Dele, pues. Ok, voy yo. ¿A dónde? A dormir. Una, una tablet. ¿Tablet? Uh, product, product tablet. Uh, 508 grand. Wait. Dimension 246 by 161 by 6 millimeters. And quantity 2000. 3000, okay. All right. Who's next? Yo. Okay. Uh, product mirror. Um, the way of the mirror is three kilograms. Uh, in this dimension, seven hundred twenty by four hundred thirty by millimeter. All right. Quantity fifty unit. Fifty unit. Fifty units. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Uh, I guess Carla is uh, going to be the last one, right? Okay. Yes. I I don't wait. One one point three kilograms. Okay. Dimension one hundred twenty four thirty cm. Quantity ten. All right. Ah, no the okay. All right. <laughs> and I want to just on it. Okay, thank you, Carla. All right. So thank you to you three guys. Now help me out choosing the next uh participants, please. Walter. All right. Walito. Walter. Mañana será otro día. I love you. Como so, verdad. <laughs> Más que ya viene el agua. Ah, mejor. Vamos a antes de que llegue. Vamos en la clase y viene el agua. Bueno, Grisela y Leonel son mis dos compañeros. En pie de vuelta. Ok. Uh, the product and uh, one stereo. Okay. Weight two hundred and fifty pounds. All right. Dimension one hundred fifty inches by seventy point five inches. Quantity. 60 es todo <laughs> ok good the next one ahí uh, ahí right. my my product example is shoes ok uh, weight 300 grams dimension 9.6 mm -hmm. uh, Time four point five and thirty inch. Okay. And quant quantity one hundred pairs. Okay, one hundred pairs. All right, there you go. Good. Who's next? Hi. Okay, go ahead. The product is the product is a cell phone weight. 195 grams dimension 
164.5 times 76.9 times 8.9 millimeters. Quantity, 25 units. All right, very good. Thank you to you three guys. You did it excellent. Now, who's next? Me faltan. Me faltan bien pocos. Mm. Uh, Isabel. Ah, yeah, man. Okay, good. Isabel. So you were requesting. Ay, teacher, pero yo soy pésima para los números en español, no sé en inglés. Yo ni me acuerdo <laughs> cómo. I will help you up, no problem. <laughs> Wendy, ¿vas a iniciar tú o inicio yo? Total, la pena la voy a pasar. Si quieres, inicio yo porque ya viene el agua. Dale. Viene con todo. Ok, product, kitchen, weight, 3.4 kilograms, dimension, 30 centimeters por 37 por 10. Quantity, 10. Okay, very good. Thank you, Wendy. Now, Isabel. My product is wash machine, weight, um, 65. ¿Cómo se dice? Kilograms. 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 Dimension. Um, ya no me acuerdo. De 90, teacher. 90? 90? 90 for, 90 for 14 and 14. Uh, quantity 100. 100. All right. Those are like the units. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Isabel. You both. Now, Paulina. Paulina's group. Estás llorando, hija? Con Evelyn. Okay. Good. Empiezo yo a usted, Evelyn. Inicia. Ok. Um, product is bicycle. All right. The weight is 20 lips. <coughs> Dimension 59 centímetros por 8, 4 centímetros. Quantity 2. Two. Two. My product is bed. Uh, weigh 80 pounds. Dimension 190 K. K. Uh, one period 35 centimeters. In quantity six. Okay. Good. Uh, the product is chair, weight is six lips, dimension eight centimeters for times four centimeters quantity eight. <laughs> Paulina. Hola. Ahora sí, es así, así, miren, la podemos levantar. Ya no pesa 200 libras la silla. Está muy pesada, teacher, es que a donde es especial el que antes se me Esa silla es antirrobo, me la puede dejar a la acera y no se la lleva, ni la, ni la, ni la policía. Sí. Por eso hay que pensar, hay que pensar. Exactly, exactly. Okay, good. Thank you to you too. You did it excellent. Now, uh, Sonia, who were you working with? Okay, teacher. I guess you were working with Norma, right? Norma y Selina. Ah, okay, great. Let's go. The product is microwave mm -hmm. waste. 750 pounds and dimension 
60 centimeters h b 30 centimeters y right. quantity 25 units colors y okay all right very good products found mm -hmm. why Mm. Under 20 kilograms. Okay. Dime. Under 20 centimeters. Uh -huh. Or 45 centimeters. Quant Quantity. 20. Color blouse. Oh, okay. All right. Right. Uh, my product is lacto. Uh -huh. Weigh uh, uh, 750 kilograms. Dimension 31 centimeters by 39 centimeters. Quality 50. Color gray. Ah, okay. Okay. But, all right, all right. All right. I'm, I'm going to leave it like that. Even though it will be grams and not kilograms. Well, that's okay. Good. I think you three were the last ones, right? Thank you, by the way, for your participation to you three guys. Creo que pues, con ustedes tres serán las últimas and participar. Okay, now I want we to go into the next activities that we got over there, guys. Uh, and I'm gonna show you what we're going to do on the next activities. All right, so basically you were working on this ones. Now, let's jump into the next, uh, into the next activity. It says, write a question to match the answers. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Vamos a darle una pregunta a esta respuesta. Generally, here, if you take a look in here, estamos usando acá los nombres contables y no contables. Entonces, acá vamos a usar how much and how many, ¿ok? On the starting question. Por ejemplo, tenemos la respuesta que dice, I have 50 boxes of thread. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Es... Es contable o no contable. Es contable. Contable porque estamos hablando de cajas, right? A pesar de que mencionemos hilo, el hilo no es contable, pero como hablamos de las cajas, una unidad de medida, entonces ahí sí estamos hablando de algo contable. Entonces vamos a comenzar. How many? How many? Many. Boxes of three. Uh -huh. How? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you got it like this, right? So you got an example question like that. Y ahí tendremos la número uno, all right? Entonces de ese modo vamos a ir identificando dónde está el verbo, okay? Que vamos a colocar en la pregunta. This is the verb. Estos son los verbos. Miren, acá need. Want, right? Need, again, right? Entonces, esos son los que van a ir en la pregunta. Ok, good. Ahora bien, eso es lo que vamos a hacer acá. Preguntas con how much and how many. Luego acá, en esta parte, ¿qué vamos a hacer acá? Acá me van a escribir el nombre del compañero con el que están trabajando. Here, right? Your classmate's name. Y acá me van a mencionar por lo menos dos actividades que esta persona tiene que hacer, right? Two activities that this person has to do and two activities this person doesn't have to do. Me van a hacer dos oraciones positivas y dos negativas usando have to and don't have to related to this person, ¿ok? Recuerden, aquí uh, sería el nombre de la persona y aquí el del otro. So in this case, two extra people, right? 
Recuerden, dos actividades que tiene que hacer, dos que no tiene que hacer. ¿Ok? When you finish on that, as long as you finish on that, all right, we're going to check the information. Esto ya es para mañana. So, básicamente, eso tendríamos acá. ¿Ok? In here, below this one, it says, you know, activate the thing of food. Sí, pero con dos suficiente. It's going to be enough, all right? Applying the structure in a correct way, okay? So basically, these are like the activities that we are pending uh, to do in here. So I'm gonna stop sharing this. And now let's go and work on those activities. Give me one second. Teacher, no le tomé captura las preguntas. Uh, okay, give me one. It's ¿Qué page, página del manual es? The page that you're working is going to be 18. Será la página 18 que vamos a trabajar. Eh, ahorita lo voy a compartir de nuevo para que le tomen captura a ambas actividades. Sería esta. Sí, Cher, y, sería, y serían las mismas salas que va a hacer. Eh, creo que sí. Bueno, Porque aquí... donde él, solo yo y ella y yo estábamos. Bueno, ya vamos a ver acá. Eh, no se preocupe, voy a, a reorganizar las salas. Como acá Zoom okay. la organiza. Ok, es this one. Y la otra actividad sería esta. Este es para mañana. <risa> Para mañana. Para ahora, mejor dicho. Para ya entonces, dicho. Ok, good. Uh, give me one second. Voy a reorganizar uh, las que tenemos acá. So just give me one second. Si tienen el screens de la primera, lo comparten en el WhatsApp, chicos. Please. Permítanme un segundo que estoy moviendo a, a, a unas personas acá. Ok. Let's open up the breakout rooms, please. Um, Diego, Carla, Leonel, Walter, do you have any inconvenient to join to the breakout room? Ahorita, teacher, estaba copiando. Ah, ok, ok. Flor es como they have they have some flour. Oh, mucho entonces. Ajá, ya vi, ajá, son mucho, pero cómo la vamos a responder? No, la respuesta ya la tienen ahí. La pregunta es lo único que la van a pregunta. hacer. La pregunta. La pregunta es la que vamos a hacer. 
Es la única porque ahí tienen la respuesta. Tienen que leer bien la respuesta para saber qué verbo usar en la pregunta. All right. Ah, y tú, Cersei, sí, van pero... a comenzar con Hamacho o Jameni. Ajá, pues sí. Claro que sí. Ok. <ríe> <ríe> They had some. Sería home. Ahora hay que hacer la pregunta. Teacher, ¿cómo dijo el primer ejemplo del cuadro primero? Yo no lo copié. Oh, ahorita le comparto la pantalla para que, lo, para que le tomen la captura en Facebook. Please. All right. ¿Esta parte dice usted? Pero ella se refiere al ejemplo que había escrito usted, teacher. Oh, si a la, respuesta, no a la pregunta. Ok. Sí, le pregunta. Va, la voy a escribir acá entonces. Yo tengo una, una duda, Ticha. Yes, tell me. Con la segunda, no le veo lógica a lo que pregunta, a la respuesta. They have Porque seen dice, a ellos, tormenta de agua horrible. Ellos tienen unos limpiadores de piso, dice. Ajá. Es solo de armarla, Walter. Es que ahí, ahí, some floor cleaners, eh, va. Ahí estamos dándole respuesta. Va, primero que nada, la oración está visto? contable o incontable. Es contable. Porque llevamos la palabra cleaners y está en plural, ¿correcto? Ok, ¿cómo sería entonces la pregunta? How many floor cleaners do you have? Exacto, ahí está. Es, no se deja llevar por esto. Este sum reemplaza a un número exacto. Sum es para dar una cantidad eh, que indica poco, pero que no se especifica cuánto es. Okay. Remember, remember, sum significa algunos o algunas. Entonces, no damos una cantidad exacta ahí en ese caso. Bueno. Ok, great. Chicos, sí, ya no escucho nada. Yo tampoco, yo tampoco sí, ya no escucho. Si lo escribimos mejor en el chat. Sería mejor, por favor. Yo no les oigo, en serio. Vaya, escribámoslo entonces en el chat. No sería da, das genido. Das porque está hablando, le está diciendo a él, de he. Ajá. Pero la pregunta. Ah, sí, 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 sí. Bueno. Oh, Thank you so much for calling. Linus is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Lydia. Could you give me some information about the flower share of first? It's a property of 5.2 characters, 3% color, processor, and intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me the information about the burden? Too? 
Hey, sorry, can you repeat the plot for please? Can you give me information about the quarantine? Thank the quarantine is a fun. Oh. Create the safety of the department while it's a customer on the other end of the Threaten to go to other something online. When you did cry, the edge and the product are two or three. Yeah. Many pack of water bar, water bar, uh -huh. how, how many pack of water bar do you want? We want. Uh -huh. do, you want? do you want? Do you want? Uh -huh. Entonces, and then, and then answer we want the pack of four bar. We want we want the pack of four bar. Bar, ¿Qué bar? Sí, creo que hace eso, creo que barra de mantequilla, no. Barra de mantequilla, ¿eh? Usted dijo vale. cerveza. Usted Yo, dijo cerveza. <risa> <risa> Ay, Evelyn. Es que yo pensé que decía birse en vez de burger. Ah, no, barra de mantequilla, ¿eh? Beauty. Barra de sí, cerveza. Ah. Diego está pidiendo. <risa> Ah, seis bueno, pues. packs. Seis packs. Nosotros queremos seguir. Uh -huh. Que es un menú, no creo que todavía es un menú. Va, la última sí es how much, porque ya habla solo de un poco ah, de agua. Ah, Pero pues sí. agua. hablan con cantidad. Six packs. ¿Se puede contar? La número tres, ¿cómo la hicieron? La hicimos como how many porque habla de dos calones. No, la dos. La tres dice, ¿eh? La dos, creo que dijo. ¿Cuál dijo? No, la tres, ¿eh? La gran mayoría es usada con how many. Ajá, porque la, todas dicen una cantidad, contestan con una cantidad de... Exacto. Solo la última no tiene cantidad, solo dice un poco de agua y un poco de agua no lo puedo medir. <risa> Continúo. <risa> la cuatro. Nosotros queremos seguir. ¿Por qué se quedaron callados? <risa> oh, many. Pues sí. <risa> Armémosla, fue pues, la pregunta. How many packs? ¿Cuántas barras de mantequilla necesitamos? ¿Necesitan? No. Okay. Uh -huh. El verbo es want. El verbo es querer. Ah, sí, va, pero. Uh -huh. Entonces, nosotros queremos seis. Uh -huh. How many? ¿Cuántas? Norma. Hola. 
Así vamos bien. Casi no los escucho porque está lloviendo bien fuerte. Pero ¿por qué le va a poner necesitar, Evelyn? <coughs> Ni. No queremos. Porque la respuesta dice, nosotros queremos seis barras de mantequillas. You have to, you have to, Entonces, need, you have to use the verb according to the answer. ¿Cuántas barras de mantequilla? Pero como dice nosotros. Quieren. Entonces el verbo sería one. Ajá, siempre. Empecemos el verbo que, que tenemos en la, en la, pre, en la respuesta. En la respuesta. Uh -huh. yeah. How many put in parts? ¿Cuántas patas de mantequilla? ¿Cómo va a quedar esa pregunta, Tiche? How many bolivar do, do, do we want? Right. How many? Ajá. Uh -huh. How many? No, in this case, uh -huh. listen. How ¿Cómo? many packs of butter bars uh -huh. do you want? Ah, do you. Por eso yo no entendía por qué do you, we, si la respuesta es we. No, do you, <risa> generalmente usamos you, pero ese you es de plural, de ustedes. De ustedes, ajá. Ay, por eso yo no entendía, por eso yo decía, este, necesitan <risa> la pregunta. Exactly. Ajá, exactly. Ajá. No, en ese Ajá. podemos usar, ya podemos usar do we want o do you want, que va, viene a ser lo mismo. Pero do we want, se oye algo raro. Yeah, es como necesitamos, pero ahí eh, eh, queda mejor do you want. Do you want, se oye más bonito. Exacto. <risa> How many butter bars? Eh? Packs butter of butter bar. bars. Packs of Al revés. Bars. Packs bars of butter. Va primero. Bars of butter, escribo. Uh -huh. Es que este inglés es complicado. Unas cosas van adelante, otras van atrás. <risa> Eso de packs of butter es como packs of butter, como pacas o paquetes de mantequilla. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Paquetes de mantequilla, barras de mantequilla. Yes. Vaya. Las cinco. Ana y Hugo necesitan un poco de agua. Uh -huh. Norma, Diego. Ah. La última. Ay, aquí ya viene la lluvia. Ay, Diego, ya tiene sueño. Hagamos la última que ya. Ajá. Hemos hecho lo otro. Ahí vamos a hacer un grupo y lo vamos a hacer mañana o más tarde. Oh, yeah. No, How Diego much? ya quiere dormir. How much la number five, ¿no? Ajá. ¿Ah? How, much? How much water? ¿Cuánta Ajá. agua necesitan e ellos? Anda y Hugo. Hey. Ellos. Ellos. Do they? Uh -huh. Do they need? Exactly. How much water How do much? they need? Water do they, do they need? need? Exactly. Ok, hey. good. Bueno, en lo que ustedes copian, los voy a mandar a, las, a la sala principal. Ok. Y mañana vamos a revisar las, las, las preguntas que hicieron, ¿ok? Ok. Bueno. Let's go into the main section. Gracias, teacher. Ok.
All right, so everybody just coming back. Si pasa lista, me pone presente porque no sé. Ok, Isabel, no se preocupe. All right. One ask. I'm saying you the, 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 the tennis. Ok, so I guess you guys did not finish. Debo suponer que no terminamos, right? Because uh, uh, you got a little bit more time in the questions, right? Para mañana... Vamos a hacer esa, eh, esa como feedback uh, about this class y ahí vamos a, a revisar las preguntas que han estado elaborando, right? That's like the most important part of these activities that you have done, guys. Entonces, para mañana eh, las corroboraríamos, ¿ok? So, what you have in there. Ahorita porque ya es bien tarde, so I'm not going to uh, have you here more than the, you know, like, Assign it time, right? Right, so we're gonna uh, be doing by tomorrow that way. Para los que me deben tarea, por favor, all right? Eh, necesito que esta noche se me pongan al día con las tareas hasta la número 5, okay? Hay algunos que todavía están a cero, okay? Ustedes ya saben quiénes son los que no me han trabajado todavía en la plataforma, necesito sus notas. Okay, please, I'm going to be waiting uh, to your grades. Los voy, voy a estar esperando sus notas mm, por lo menos dos horas más antes de enviarlas, okay? So, creo que en ese tiempo podemos hacer de la 1 a la 5 with no issue. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pass the attendance list and that's going to be everything, okay? Bueno, pasar asistencia y nos quedaríamos hasta ahí. All right, so just give me one second. A uh, Selina Janet. Present teacher. Ok, great. Cristian Eduardo. Present teacher. Cristian, con usted ya tuve el feedback, ¿verdad? Cristian, ¿you there? Sí, sí ya, ya, ya me quedé. Genial, all right. Denis Gerardo. Present. Ok, great. Diana Carolina. Mm, ok, Ok. Uh, Diego José. Present, teacher. Ok, good, Diego. Edwin Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, good. Let me see. Edwin Leonel. Present teacher. Okay, Leonel, I haven't had the feedback with you, right? No hemos tenido feedback con usted. Uh, se me queda un par de minutos después de la clase. Leonel, please. I'm having with you, okay? Uh, Evelyn del Carmen. Present. All right. Uh, Griselda Jamilet. Sí. Ok, excelente. Jorge Antonio. Present. Ok, great. Karen Lisset. Present. Ok, nice. Carla Patricia. Present. Ok, great. Luis Humberto. Present. Ok, nice. Uh, let me see. Norma Jamilet. Present. All right. Paulina Olimpia. Present. Ok, good. Ronald Ulises. Present. Ok, good. Sonia Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Ok, great. Walter Enrique. Present. Ok, nice. Wendy Beatriz. Present. All right. Janira Isabel. All right. Dijo que tenía uh, problemas con el audio por la tormenta. En Brenda Elizabeth, que se nos quedó sin electricidad. Ok, great. Thank you for getting connected tonight, guys. I hope you have a wonderful night. And let's see you tomorrow at the beginning of the second week of this module, okay? Bye-bye, guys. Good night. Okay, bye-bye.
Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. 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 Good night. Okay. Bye. All right, so basically I asked one of the students uh, to stay for the 10 minutes feedback, but apparently uh, they have been uh, with issues due to a storm that is in the area where they live. So basically we're going to provide a short, you know, like feedback about what we were doing tonight. So basically tonight what we were working on was on a general feedback. Right, so students were uh, developing and, and working in uh, some activities, right, related to the topics that they have been working uh, the past four classes, right? So let's remember that the first class that they had, we were discussing countable and uncountable nouns, all right? So let's remember that countable nouns are those nouns that we can count them, right? For example, so we can count a cell phone, a computer, right? A television, right? So those nouns can be counted. And when we ask questions with this kind of nouns, we generally use how many? For example, how many cell phones do you have? So we can easily answer, I have one cell phone, right? So we can count them, right? With numbers because, I mean, they were a let, uh, you know, like the participants to use it. On the other hand, we have the next category, all right? Which is uncountable nouns, right? So, as the word says, uncountable nouns are those words that we cannot count, right? For example, we cannot count the water. We cannot count the oil, milk, right? Uh, what else? The sand, right? So those words are uncountable. And we use, for those uncountable nouns, we use how much when asking questions. For example, so we can say, how much water do you drink, right? So take a look at that one. How much water do you drink? So we can say in an answer, I drink a lot of water, right? So I drink a lot of water. I drink some water, right? So I cannot say I drink one water because it's not possible, right? Uh, the other topic that we were discussing, it was the uses of have to and has to to show obligations. Let's remember that when we use have to, it's basically with the pronouns on first person, like I, you, and for plural pronouns, like we and they right? So we use them that way. And has to is mostly used with he, she, and it. And obviously singular nouns, right? So put them into context, we can say, I have to teach English. That's one obligation I have because it's my job. Or she has to go to work, right? Like, ella tiene que trabajar. Tiene que ir a trabajar. So, in there, we are expressing an obligation, right? And somehow, obligation. After that topic, we were discussing the uses of ha, uh, can, right? Mostly to show, in this case, two different aspects. To ask for information when you use the WH words and 
to show possibilities when you ask yes, no questions. So in the last topic we were practicing, it was the uses of be going to. Let's remember that be going to, it's mostly used for future action, right? Recordemos, usamos be going to for future action, right? For example, I am going to teach English tomorrow. So you see, we are basically talking about a future action in that case. So basically, that's what we were working on, on the activities that the students were developing, right? So by tomorrow, we will continue with checking uh, those exercises before studying the new uh, unit. So that is going to be everything for tonight. I hope all these topics to be clear, right? And uh, understood so that way we can easily practice them on short conversations, right? And apply it to any structure, right? Accordingly to what we have been, you know, discussed. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, let's see you in another video conference. Bye-bye.